Hello everyone, this is Lady and the Violin. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about the two tuners that I use for my everyday violin practice. One of them is the Diodario NS Violin Micro Tuner. The other is the free tuner app that you can get on most devices. So which one's better? I'll let you be the judge as I compare both. And uh, I will tell you off the bat that I use them both for different reasons. So please keep watching to find out the pros and cons of both the Diodario Micro Tuner and the Free Tuner Violin app. When I started out on the violin, my first resource for getting a tuner was to download a free tuner app known as Master Violin Tuner for Android. Of course, for a small fee, $4.50, you can get the non-ad version. This tuner was my primary tuner throughout most of my first year, and um, I used it to tune my violin, but I also used it as a reference for note correction uh, when practicing songs and scales and all of that. So it's a good reference to check every note on the violin to see if it's flat, sharp, or right on the dot. Since it uses the device's microphone, I know the main concern is if there's background noise, if you're practicing with a metronome, or if you're practicing with accompaniment, will it interfere with reading your violin tone? Uh, I've tested this and it works perfectly. It still detects your violin tone and lets you know whether you're hitting the notes correctly. Just like with any tuner, when the arrow is right in the middle, you're on target. If the arrow's to the left, you're a bit too flat, and if the arrow's to the right, you're a bit too sharp. Here's a demonstration of a basic A major scale that shows how the tuner works for practice. As you can see, the tuner needs a little time to detect your tone. So that would be probably the first minor con. But that's okay, it's free. This is a tuner that you can have with you at all times. Just download it on your phone and have it there. There may be an occasion where you need a tuner and there is no tuner or piano or any type of, of reference for notes where you're at and you need it right then and there. All you have to do is whip out your phone and use the violin tuner from your phone. So that's very convenient. Another glitch that I found with this app is sometimes it doesn't detect the A string too easily it, at when it first starts up. So all you have to do is play the G string and then go back and play the A string and it detects the A string. So it's just a small glitch, no big deal. One of the features I really love about this app is the tone reference. So um, what you can do is when you tune your violin for the very first time, let's just say you switched out all the strings, all you have to do is hit each note and it gives you a good reference of how that note is supposed to sound. So at my one year mark of learning the violin, I decided to upgrade my violin. Along with my violin upgrade, I also decided that I wanted to try an actual physical tuner. After so much research on what tuner I should try, I came across the Diodario NS Violin Micro Tuner. And just like the name describes, it is tiny. 
Look at this. Isn't it adorable? Unlike the tuner app, this microtuner detects vibration. So uh, it, it has no microphone, which is nice because it has a faster response as a result of that feature. I found it convenient that you can attach it to your violin and it isn't bulky at all. And the head of the microtuner actually swivels around so you can view it from most angles. And this is convenient because sometimes you need to um, adjust your strings using the pegs while having the violin propped on your lap. All you have to do is swivel the head upwards like so and I'm just going to turn it on just to show you. From here if I just leave it the way it is it's upside down. So you just press the center button to turn the display around and now I'm I'm able to view it right side up. That is very convenient. I, I like that feature. Again when you hit the right note the display will be green with one line on each side of the letter. When you're off key, the color changes and if there are multiple lines to the right, it means that you're too sharp and if there are multiple lines to the left, it means you're too flat. I really like the fast response. What I really like is the color display. So if I'm playing and I want to make sure that the pitch is correct, all I have to do is just check my peripheral vision. As long as the display is green, I can be sure and certain that I'm hitting the notes correctly, which is so useful because as you know, violin playing involves a lot of multitasking and it's helpful not to turn your head or try to focus on a tuner for your pitch reference. Um, it's good to just quickly know that you're on pitch just by seeing the green display on the micro tuner. One of the features I most like is the compact size. You can use it You can while it's attached to your violin, turn it off and leave it attached because it will not bother you while you're practicing. And then you can quickly turn it back on when you need to reference a note. It's also convenient because you can carry it anywhere and everywhere. I guarantee that this little micro tuner will fit in your violin case. This micro tuner also has a visual metronome, which could be convenient for a lot of people, um, but I personally prefer to use a metronome with sound or just my inner metronome. It has a battery saver as well, so it will turn off every 10 minutes. So if you need to use it for longer for 10 minutes, all you have to do is turn it back on every time it turns off. Unfortunately, you will need to change out the battery once it dies, and it does die. It's been a little less than a year since I've owned this one, and since I've, I've had times that I used it very frequently and for long periods of time, the battery does die. So I've changed out the battery twice. It takes one CR2032 battery. So just make sure you buy, I don't know, a pack of three. I already used one here. So um, that's the only inconvenience is that you have to change out the battery. Unlike the Violin Tuner app, as long as your device is charged, you have access to that tuner. There always comes a time that I need the features of the Violin Tuner app. For example, the pitch reference is so useful when you are tuning your strings for the very first time. Let's just say you switched out your strings. It's going to take much longer to tune when you don't have an audio reference. So that's when I like using the Violin Tuner app. For under $20, it's not a bad buy you get what you need out of a tuner. But if you can't spare that kind of money, of course, download the Violin Tuner app. It's free and it works just as well. So there you have it. Both tuners are easy and convenient to use.
Both have their advantages and disadvantages. So now I want to hear more from you. Which tuner do you prefer using for your violin tuning? Let me know by leaving a comment below. I hope this comparison video has been insightful for you. And if it has, please hit the thumbs up. Better yet, if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button right there, right now. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.